on, what's happening here? Basil is going to college? An investment in knowledge always pays the best interest from Benjamin Franklin. Wait, what's happening? Does that mean Basil is not going to be in my family anymore? Did he just leave? Did he just, did he just, he just left me. He just left me, you guys. I have no idea. Oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? Wishing for a home theater and Pepper's a little bit sick. I am so glad to see that after a whole day away from my family. Oh, here we go. Uh, Jimmy, dear Pepper, it's me, Jimmy. You remember me from school, right? Just want you know how. Uh, just want to know how you've been doing. I've been doing great. I'm extremely rich now. Oh, and I've married a model who is also a scientist. Just wanted you to know. Talk to you soon from Jimmy. Jimmy, I think doth uh, you doth protest too much, as they say. I think that may be a little bit of fibbage there. And we have some sneezing going on with Pepper, so I'm gonna give her some antibacterial hand gel, uh, just as something that she can use to help herself feel a little bit better. And then we're gonna come over here and get some antihistamines for those sneezings and there you go Oh, she's a bit weak. What do you mean a bit weak? A bit weak. I wonder if she needs a little bit of a boost. Can I give her something else as like a little boost? A uh, strong antibiotic, extreme fatigue. Maybe she's just really tired and just needs a little bit of time to rest. Hmm. And she's trying to heat up some food. Everybody is trying to heat up some food. Kale, don't heat up any food. You're sick. Come over here. I'm going to make him take a shower maybe for just a second and I'll have Pepper come over and start preparing a meal. Um, and Pesto is not feeling fresh. So I leave the family alone for one day and all of this chaos happens. So you guys, what should we do for our little family? Let's see. And uh, Kale is just like sneezing up a storm. Okay, let's go ahead and give him some antihistamines too. But I'm glad to see that they're still alive. And a lot of you guys are saying that it's actually a variable age range on our little virtual families and how long they're gonna live. And I, I do want them to like live for quite a while. But the fact of the matter actually is that, um, you know, you have to have one generation pass on before you start being able to open up all of these other deck renovations. So I'm sort of torn. I And I miss Basil. Why did he have to leave us and go to college? I miss him. Is he still in the family tree? Basil! Oh, why did you go to college, Basil? So, yeah, Basil's gone. He's in the, he's like off to college, I suppose. And we have Pesto and Lemon. Lemon is going outside to do some stargazing with her dad. That's really, really sweet. Pesto's looking for snacks. Pesto, I'm gonna make you, we'll make him take a shower because he's not feeling very fresh. And I'm gonna make him uh, help out around the house because his mom is old and sick and he needs to be helping out. Where's the cat? I want to make sure the cat is still around here too. So yeah, we've got a little bit of cleaning that we need to do. <gasps> it's a fossil! Okay, hang on you guys. Uh, we're going to reverse the day-night cycle so we can see a little bit better. And let me grab pesto in just a second. Is it like a cloudy day? What on earth? Um, Oh, these two, meanwhile, Kale and Lemon are busy trying to find the moon, which I think is adorable. Pesto is brushing his hair, which I, I think is hilarious. He's always been so deeply concerned about his appearance. But now I'm going to snag him and make him start digging in the ground, which I don't think he's going to be that excited about. But look at him. He's digging something up. This is so cool. Wah, no, I hit the wrong button again. Why? All right. What did he find? He found something. He's gonna bring back a bone. He has found a bone for us, you guys. That is gonna be so cool. So the house is a little bit of a mess. We still have some food though, and that's a good thing. Pepper is preparing the meal, even though she's feeling a little weak. And we have a ton of money. I feel like we really lucked out with Kale. Um, he just is ridiculously wealthy. I did not anticipate having somebody. Here, I'm gonna have him start cleaning up and I'm gonna make Lemon help out and clean up too. So, and I'll praise her for doing that. Lemon can be a bit of a handful. A lot of you guys have noticed that sometimes she does things she's not supposed to, like rip apart books and throw rocks and jump up and down on the furniture. But we've been mostly able to keep her under control. But we really lucked out with just how wealthy Kale is. And he's about to go to level nine of the vitamin inventor skill. So I'm super impressed with him. I'm really, really proud of him. And I guess I wanna make his life a little bit easier. So with the house being such a mess, 
we can do these special upgrades down here and this will call a maid service. And it only is a thousand coins just once. A busy person's dream. No more stray wrappers or socks ever. So I think we'll go ahead and get the maid service so that the house can be a little tidier. Um, I mean, this coming from a household that has <laughs> condemned rooms uh, all over the place, but there's socks everywhere. Lemon, what are you doing? Lemon, you don't need to prepare a meal. I'm gonna make Lemon pick up all these socks. For some reason, I think that's probably Probably her fault and where's pesto is he still coming he's still coming with that really cool new bone that he found and dug up that is so cool that we can actually do the rock hounding fossil finding stuff now I don't know what they're gonna do with that big there are five socks here <laughs> does it just tell you how many socks you collect that kind of makes me not want to get a maid service actually so now are there gonna be six socks and you can just like collect socks during the duration of your family's lives Oh, guys, that's too fun. Now I don't want to have a maid service because you can count socks. Isn't that silly? <laughs> All right, and then let's see. Pesto is studying in the kitchen. <gasps> is he trying to learn from mom and dad? That is so cool. And then Pepper is trying to go off and eat something, and she's not feeling so fresh. Um, hey. I'm going to make her, we'll have her clean a little bit. And then Lemon, come here. I'm going to make you pick up this sock. That's too fun. I don't want to get rid of the, the socks. I don't want to get rid of the like maid service anymore. And yeah, Pesto is over here just busy, busy studying. He's like studying the meal he has. See, Spot, run. You clean 10 dirt smudges off the floor. Cool. All right. Hey. Pepper, I'm going to go ahead and have you take a shower so you can feel a little fresher. <gasps> and I found more socks. All right. There's another sock. Lemon, guess what? Sorry, you're gonna be my sock collector. <laughs> I love this little family and I have been blown away by how many of you guys love them too. I, I just had no idea that Virtual Families would be so popular. Really excited about the rumors of Virtual Families 3 coming out uh, later this year. Hopefully that will happen. And I'm really excited to share the Virtual Villages with you guys and name the villagers after you guys actually. I think that'd be a lot of fun. As long as you guys would be okay with that because the villagers would have some babies now and then. All right, and then I'm gonna have Pepper sit down to have a meal because that'll be good for her. Kale is busy working on his career and I'm going to make Lemon. <laughs> she is learning all over the place that she has to help uh, clean up because I feel like she's actually the one who causes half the mess, to be honest. Oh, and there's all sorts of things to collect. Pesto, where are you? I know you're studying in the kitchen, but we're gonna have you hit like snag him and just drop him down over here. There are all sorts of collectibles popping up today. I don't know why. And Lemon's trying to play charades. All right, up here you go. Come on, no, pick that up. There we go. All right, so they're taking the new collectibles inside. And then mom and dad are sitting down to a little bit of food and working in the kitchen. I love these guys so much. All right, so now that that is all done and they have so much ridiculous money, do you guys end up with that much money like straight off the bat too? That's just, it's blowing me away. We'll worry about groceries later. Let's see what the flea market has today. Mega chamomile extract. This unusual drink is extremely effective and inducing sleep. Use with caution. Ooh. And then here's multivitamins. This multivitamin pack contains a balanced assortment of vitamins and minerals that is suitable for anyone. Hmm. So let's go ahead and we'll get that and give it to uh, Pepper. Let's grab that mint candy. And there's the Kitchen Professional Magazine. A small immediate increase in career progress. We're going to give that to Basil. I think he's going to love that. And let's go ahead and see what's on sale. We have an adult bed and another child's nightlight on sale. Um, I think we're okay there. And then what about clothes? I'm pretty sure that the clothes change all of the time and you just have to keep an eye on them. Oh, that's so cute. Discount store female outfit. That's adorable. I kind of think Pepper would like to wear that. Oh, I want it. I want it. Do I have enough room for that? Oh, look at all the way you can't pick everything all at once. I think that Pepper would love wearing that actually, to be completely honest. So the kids are coming back with the new items. Now, here's the question though. If I give Pepper this, then it will change what she was wearing her whole life. But she used to have red hair and I feel like, here, no, don't work out when you're not feeling good, Pepper. All right, let's bring her over here and let's give her a multivitamin. There we go. Oh, she's calling the children to eat. Yay, and her health boosted up just enough that I think she'll be, she'll be okay. 
And then Kale is busy working on his career, so I don't want to interrupt him. And the cat is begging for food by the kitchen. That's adorable. Um, but I feel like it's okay to change Pepper's outfit because she's had this adorable outfit on for so long. And now she's kind of getting older. We'll do it. Oh, that is cute, you guys. <laughs> I don't think it's quite as much uh, her, her as when, oh, but she seems so happy. Look at her, she's checking out her new clothes. Oh, that's really cute. Yeah, oh no, it has, <laughs> that is Pepper. That is so Pepper, it has a midriff. I thought it was like a little grandma outfit. I didn't see that it just shows her belly off. Oh my gosh, Pepper. That's a lot saucier than I thought. Oh, that's hilarious. I can't believe I just bought that for her. And now she's wishing for a laundry room. Is that even something you can get? Can you even get like a laundry room? I can't believe I just bought her like a midriff outfit. Oh, that's so funny. I was thinking, oh, this looks like a proper grandma outfit. And what do I do? <laughs> that's just so funny. Okay. Uh, anyway, there's lots and lots and lots of things. I can't wait for future generations to be born so we can use these things. Uh, desk lamp for the home office. And oh yeah, there's laundry. Look at that. You can have them do laundry. That is so cool. That definitely would keep them busy. All right, and anything else I can snag? We can do another fishbowl. And I did promise that we would do a random event every time we come in too. So let's see what's going on over here. Browsing web and selling a collectible. That's what Pesto's up to. Um, And we have to wait. Oh, is Kale almost done working on his career? Cool, he's so close. Maybe we can get him promoted. That would be so awesome. He is a master vitamin inventor. I can't believe I just put Pepper in that. Oh my gosh, Pepper, I'm sorry. I'm gonna get her a different outfit. Well, she's just, I mean, you know what? No, if that's what she wants to do, that's what she wants to do. Oh, and Kayla's gonna send an email to me. All right, let's leave him alone. Oh, nope, he, I think all of it was, like all the computers were busy. All right, there we go. Just gave him, ah, it didn't seem to boost him up that last little bit. All right, well, everybody seems pretty good. Oh, and he's coming to send an email to me. And Pesto's gonna do his homework. Good job, Pesto very proud of you and is there anything I can buy for the house that would just be like upgrades for the various rooms or have I bought all of the furniture upgrades and stuff like that general appliances uh, like the career related stuff where do I find the career related stuff again um, I mean I guess if I really wanted to I could go ahead and buy the children's beds they already have a dresser uh, I guess I could get an art poster I'm gonna buy that art poster and we'll decorate it somewhere in the house. And there's so many cute things, but we can't touch them. Look at the green rugs. <gasps> We're gonna have a greenhouse room for sure as time goes on. What are you doing over here? Oh, Lemon's getting a drink. I thought she was like gonna start flooding the kitchen. Maybe I don't trust her entirely. Pepper is getting attention. How? I wonder. And let's see what Kale has to say to us and then we'll do that random event. Oh, the dishes need done. Nope, Lemon, come do the dishes. Haha, -ha, and we'll give her a mint candy for that. Two, Siri, uh, we need some different kinds of groceries if that po that's possible. Well, I guess that's enough for now. Bye for now from Kale. Oh my gosh, she just wanted to tell me about the groceries. <laughs> now that's true. I probably want to give them groceries before I go to sleep tonight or else I may wake up and they will be dead. But I'm glad they're not dead yet. All right, so on that cheerful note, ah, uh, there we go. There's the career stuff. That's what I was looking for. Let's go ahead and we'll upgrade some of the things um, in the various rooms. Like, let's get the big red toolbox because that seems like a good idea. And now the workshop has a few more items. And let's go ahead and do the random event because that would be pretty cool. So we're gonna roll the dice and have a random event happen instantly. And we're gonna see what today what today is going to bring because we have so much money. So today in the Spice family, Pepper got him a very racy outfit by accident. I thought it was like, you know, a really quaint little apron on her and everything. And oh, that's okay, that's so her. That is just so hilariously Pepper. And Basil went away to college and we're getting closer and closer to another huge promotion for Kale. And what is the random event going to be? Adult proof. A child proofing specialist comes to the door to offer to child proof your house. At least all the rooms that are habitable. This would be uh, 100 coins. Um, no, I think we're okay. All right. Children will be children and that includes some bumps and bruises. The man is sent away. Okay, I wonder if we could have benefited from that. I probably should have done that. <laughs> But all right, they're celebrating the house upgrade. I feel ridiculously silly for having <laughs> for having accidentally, um, 
you know, having accidentally not uh, gotten Pepper the right outfit. Yay! But the family's happy, and I think I'm going to go ahead and let's get a, a fish bowl. Do I have any? And I'm going to collect socks now that I know you can collect socks. I want to get a fish bowl. So let's see if there is a way. Hmm. Anything I can like put the fish bowl on top of for starters. Um. Living room. I mean, I, I could put it on top of the TV. Yeah, let's just go ahead and put the fishbowl on top of the TV because I can't really think of anywhere else to stick it. So let's buy this. And now we'll come over. And I'm going to put the fishbowl on top of the TV. And hopefully that'll make the cat happy. Fish Tycoon, you bought the fish tank. You've been awarded 25 coins. And we'll add in some more, we'll start adding in some more posters so that the family has some fun things to look at. And we'll even, let's put a dresser down at the end of this hall and then maybe we can stick something on top of the dresser in the future. So there we go. I'm getting into the flow of it now, you guys. Figuring out how to make the limited number of uh, like, oh, there's a landscape poster. <gasps> when did we get all these? Did these unlock because of like some of the things we did? Landscape poster, rose poster. That's so cool. Oh, I love it. I want to add another, let's add another poster in the office. I want to put it in here somewhere. How do I, I want to put it on the wall maybe? Can I put it over here? All right, come here. Nope, sorry, Lemon. And picking, oh, there's a sock behind the TV. <laughs> Guys, that's hilarious. There's a sock behind the TV that Lemon just found. That's the best. All the lost socks. Oh my gosh. And I'm going to put this rose, um, maybe in the bathroom? Eh, why not? It, it, I mean, it, it's kind of odd to put it over there, but I think it'll be okay. And I'm going to grab the landscape painting and kind of put it right down the hall. That's good. And then maybe the dresser, like, in front of it? Nope. All right, maybe over here. There we go. So we've got some things happening in here. They're watching stuff get arranged. There's another sock. I think she dropped it. <laughs> and we have the finder, the discoverer of socks now. So I think that's kind of hilarious. And I kind of want to move that painting again. But yeah, we're unlocking stuff. I guess as you really start to go through and unlock some of those little achievements, you unlock new items. I'm learning something new every day. Huzzah. All right. And we got to dig up our very first bone. Oh, and there's another little, there's another little collectible to be found. And let's grab Lemon and make her grab that. All right. Another collectible. Come here. And come on, Lemon. She's very stubborn about collectibles. And oh, there's another one. And Basil's gone, and I miss him a lot. And let's see. Making children brush their teeth. <laughs> Pepper, you're hilarious. All right. And we'll go ahead and have her grab this collectible. And let's see what we actually managed to get when it came to the bones. Um, let's see. Bugs. Haven't found any of those. And we found a common fossil piece. That's very interesting. All right, you guys, this family continues to amuse and surprise me in ways I did not anticipate. I'm absolutely in love with them. I hope you guys are too. And I'm really glad to see that our elders are still alive. So that's definitely something good. We'll have to see how long they stick with us. But all right, I'll see you guys next time for the next awesome random event that we will subject them to. And Lemon didn't finish doing the dishes. Oh, I'll have to tell her to do them later. All right, I'll see See you guys later. Bye-bye.